Hey, Mom. I'm a finalist for the Lattimore Scholarship. They only give it to one student in this region, and it's going to be me. They <laughs> will never choose someone like me. Hello? Hey! Woo! I will have an omelet, bacon on the side. It's my cheat day. Cody, of course, will have a hard-boiled egg. It's his birthday. Are you in danger? But, Daddy, why do I even need to go to class anymore? I've already submitted my grades to Harvard. Isn't my scholarship literally guaranteed? Ugh. Hey, Mom. It's, um, it's me. It's Billy. I got the email from Harvard. I'm a finalist for the Lattimore Scholarship. Yeah, I got, I got an interview with the recruiter tomorrow. And, um, I'll see you tonight, okay? Did I just hear something about a Harvard scholarship? Uh, hi, Angelica. Y yeah, yeah, I'm, um, I'm being considered for the Lattimore Scholarship. <laughs> that is so adorable. What is? You can't seriously think you're getting that. They only give it to one student in this region, and it's going to be me. I, I didn't even know you'd applied. <laughs> Duh. I'm the best this town has to offer. Clearly. One's a trailer park boy, always a trailer park boy. Meanwhile, I'm student council president, and I have a 3.95 GPA. <laughs> Face it, Billy. You're just not on my level. That... That doesn't matter. What matters is that I'm a good person, you know, unlike some of the people applying for this. to even walk straight. <laughs> What's for dinner tonight, Billy? Barbecued squirrel? Deep fried <laughs> raccoon for dessert? <laughs> Harvard graduate. <laughs> okay, so I'm jumping the gun. But I'm just so proud of you. <laughs> no. Mom! Mom, why do we have to live in this stupid trailer park? I mean, God damn it! You don't get it. They will never choose someone like me. I would be an embarrassment to Harvard. Where is this coming from? Look, yeah, there are more people out there that are well off and that will judge us. But Billy, look at me. Hey. You cannot let them affect you. Or else they win. Okay? All that's important is that you believe in yourself. Do you understand me? Yeah. I don't. And even if I did, I can't just conjure up a scholarship just by believing. Billy, when that recruiter meets you, he's going to see it himself. How determined and confident you are. You are a shoe in, honey. I'm not going. <laughs> You're not going. Okay. I don't know what you mean. What do you mean? You're not going. What's the point? People like us will always be losers.
But Billy, look. I said I'm not going. I gotta go. Shift to the soup kitchen. I've been trying to get your attention. Are you deaf or something? Hi, I'm sorry. I'm the only one here today, and there was a big dinner rush. I apologize. Are you giving me excuses? You are a waitress. How hard can this be, for God's sake? Um, again, I'm sorry. Uh, what can I get you two folks? Looks like this guy's hungry for some dinosaur chicken fingers. How dare you? Oh, they're not actually made of dinosaurs. They're just shaped like them. Excuse me. You have no idea what you're talking about, okay? When you say he looks hungry. Oh, I didn't. Does he look hungry to you? No. Second of all, don't you ever, ever speak to my child, okay? Mom, please. Excuse me, shut it. Or else, I'm serious. Now, do you understand? Or do I need to talk to a manager? Um, I fully understand. Again, my sincerest apologies. I'll get your order and get it to you as soon as possible, okay? That's better. So what can I get you? Mm. <laughs> I will have an omelet with three eggs, but make it with two. Bacon on the side. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe oatmeal with apples and cinnamon, yogurt, large soda. Mm -mm. Oh, you know what? Give me a plate of waffles, cause it's like, it's my cheat day. So. Okay, plate of waffles. Is that everything? That's... Oh, Cody of course will have a hard boiled egg. Just one. It's his birthday. Well, we do have a, uh, a kid's special. It comes, it's like a grilled cheese, about this big, and then it comes with a side of fries as well. Are you giving me recommendations? I've given you my order already. So why don't you go back and make it for us? Can you do that? Or are you just a little too dumb? Nope, I'll get that to you as soon as possible. Hey. Oh, oh, hey, come here. Yeah, I forgot. My Cody actually will need a drink, so. Tap water will do. You can fetch that for him at room temperature, please. No ice. Got it. Oh my god. So good. Swim at the big fish at Harvard? He can't even afford his own food. Let's see what that Harvard recruiter thinks when he sees this. Okay, we have a soda, 
water with no ice and a little extra. What the hell is this? Did you get our drink order wrong already? Uh, no. It's just, a. Uh, it's on the house. Oh, so you think that I can't afford to buy my son a milkshake? Oh, that's not what I'm saying at all. I, I just thought... If you wanted a milkshake, we would have ordered a milkshake. What if he was lactose intolerant? I... Yeah, what? You messed up, that's what. I'm not gonna forget this. So take it back to the kitchen and get it right, please. Or send someone who could do their job properly. Right away. Benny, have you seen that woman and kid before? Well, they come in once in a while. She's a bit uh, <laughs> picky. <laughs> yeah. I got a bad feeling. And that kid looks terrified. None of our business, Alice. Our business is taking orders. Now go cash out table 12. I do not trust that woman. Her name's Henrietta, and she's a good customer. And she even likes to leave a decent tip if you just make her happy. So just do exactly that and make her happy. And make me happy by getting that bill to table 12 before that couple thinks their meal is on the house. Benny, don't you care that something... No! No, I don't care. I care about happy customers. I care about that salad, making it to table four. Order up! Sausages and a hard boiled egg. Um, oh, maple syrup. I'll go get them. Hey! Wait a second. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, I knew I knew you from somewhere. Yeah. You're one of those trailer people who lives down the Riverside Trail, aren't you? Riverside Valley. Yes. Yeah. It just makes so much sense now why you couldn't get our order properly. Your whole family is just like inbred hillbillies, right? Oof. Yep, just a bunch of crazy goats on a hill. Meh. <laughs> well, isn't it so sweet of Benny to give you a job? What a nice man. He must take such sympathy on you. Pity, pity on you. And your pathetic life. Get your hand away from my blood. Are you serious? You are in for it now. I am nice enough to get you breakfast for dinner. That's the coolest thing a parent could do, and this is the thanks that I get? You steal from me? You are a nasty little boy. Oh, there's jam right here. <gasps> oh! Oh my god! Oh, I'm so sorry! Um, this is not happening. Do you want a napkin? No! Don't touch me! Oh, this is unbelievable! Don't move! Move! Sweetheart, are you in danger? Don't say anything. Um, if you need my help, take a sip, okay? I'm gonna get some help. Just stay here, okay? I'll be right back, I promise. The 
just when I thought you'd be smart enough to save yourself the embarrassment of coming here. Hey, trailer park boy. I'm talking to you. Oh, by the way, how bad was the lineup this morning? What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, save it, Billy. I know all about your little secret. And you seriously thought you could convince Harvard to let you in? Better stay where you belong, little Billy. After all, Harvard doesn't have a soup kitchen. <laughs> Child Protective Services. It's none of our business, Alice. Give me the phone, Alice. Or what, Benny? Where you can find another place to work. You think carefully, Alice. You think about your son, Billy. I am. That kid needs our help. Are you gonna help? Yes, hi. Um... Billy, right? Yeah, yes, yes, sir. It's, it's a pleasure to meet you. Martin Young. I'm a recruiter and a former Harvard man myself. You know, Billy, uh, your resume <laughs> precedes you. You know, you're tackling this huge course load in your senior year, right? And you're adding all these hours and hours of volunteer work, plus, you still hold a 4.0 GPA. That's impressive, Billy. <laughs> I, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, this is unacceptable. Harvard is the most prestigious school in the world because it has standards. Certain people belong there and certain people do not. Look at me, I belong there. And it's not just that and wealth and connections, it's everything. And what is that trailer trash from doing his whole life? Hunting for vermin in the forest. Well, uh, Angelica, you're incorrect. <laughs> Is this yours? <laughs> you know, this photo uh, takes me back to my childhood. <laughs> Excuse me? Yeah, yeah. Um... I was a uh, scholarship kid myself. Couldn't have uh, afforded Harvard anyway, so. Me and my mom, we would go to the soup kitchen uh, a few times a week, we would be there. If it wasn't for those volunteers that showed up, uh, would have starved. And I wouldn't be here where I am today. <laughs> oh, Billy, uh, you should have included this photo in the application, huh? You made us realize that you're the right person for the scholarship. Oh, sorry. Well, um, come on. Yeah. This isn't over. Matter, sweetheart. A dollar is still so much money for trailer trash like you. Think of it as a whole hundred cents. <laughs> what? Good evening, Mrs. Foster. No. Looks like we have to escort you and your son to the office immediately. No. So we can reopen your file and reassess your custody status. No. You did this, you piece of trailer trash? At least I know how to love my child. I am a wonderful mother! No, you're not. Benny? Benny! Benny, you gotta tell them. You gotta tell them I'm a good mom. I I'm a great customer. Benny, I'm your... Benny! Do you remember me? No. Benny. Are you hungry, Cody? No. Have you eaten anything today? No. You ruined everything! 
everything! I need my, get your hands off me. I need my money. I need my kid. I need my child support. Cody, co don't, she pulled my hair. You almost pushed me right there. Are you taping this? I am going to sue you! Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Excuse, oh. Out the door. Oh! did the right thing to call. Sorry. Where do you think you're going? I just want to go home to my kid. Why did we have to come here? What? I thought you loved this place. <laughs> we always came here when you were a kid. Yeah, what's happening? I kind of like <laughs> hey, aren't those your friends from school? Why don't you go over and say hello? I'm not cool enough to talk to them. Come on. Yes, you are. Yeah, I just uh, got into Joe's. I'm going to get some lunch before I go see Cody. Next. What can I get you? I'll have the double cheeseburger. Oh my God, you should see the man in front of me. French fries. And I'll try one of those spicy chicken sandwiches. I haven't had that before. I mean, he's more whale than man, so <laughs> you catch my drift. <laughs> and a Coke, please. Is that everything? Oh, do you still have those little mac and cheese pots? I know they're seasonal, but do you still sell those? Um, let me go check for you. Thank I'll you. be right back. Oh, and he's just ordered the entire menu. Thanks for leaving some for the rest of us. That's great. I wasn't even hungry. Dad, why did you have to do that? What? I ordered that for you. You love their mac and cheese. I'm just going to call you right back. Hi, excuse me. Hi. Hello? Yeah, um, you're holding up the entire line? I don't know if you know that. Oh, because most of us just don't have time to sit around in a diner and stuff our faces with gristle and fat and wait for our heart attacks. I'm sure he'll be right back. I wasn't talking to him. I was talking to you. Hello? 
Hi, are you ignoring me? Oh, okay. So he's, yeah, you're ignoring me now. Okay, that's fine. You're fat and rude. Beautiful combination. Killer. Please, I'm just trying to have a nice lunch with my daughter, okay? <gasps> I'm sorry, did you just say she's your daughter? So someone wanted to have a child with you. Oh my God, that's so disgusting. Oh, she's adopted. Yes, yes, that makes more sense. Oh, hey kid, um, I wouldn't bother because Orson Swells over here has just ordered the entire restaurant, so. So we do have some of the mac and cheese left. We're working on your order now. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Gotta fill the trough, I guess, huh? Yeah. Oh, your food's ready. Great. Can we get the forklift? Your mac and cheese and your drink. Thank you. You're welcome. Feeding time at the zoo. How fun. <laughs> Is there anything what? left or? Sweetie, are you okay? That woman, she's, she was awful. I mean, what was her problem? She just. Well, some people just don't have manners. I love how I look and your mom loves how I look. That's all that really matters, right? Hey, is this some kind of joke? Are you pranking me? Well, I-, I You, just... you, what, what? I saw what you did, you paid my bill? You think I don't have enough money to pay for my own food? I was just doing something nice. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, you were obviously having a bad day. You took it out on me. So I just wanted to do something nice for you. Maybe, instead of being nice to me, you should be nice to her. Look at her. She looks absolutely miserable. She's clearly embarrassed to have you as a dad. I mean, who wouldn't be? I saw her face when you ordered this crap. She was mortified, and you didn't even notice because you were so busy ordering your death sentence. Why don't you just leave us alone? I'd be so ashamed to have such a fat, ugly. Don't you dare speak to my dad like that. You don't know him and you don't know me. And the last thing I'm ashamed of is my dad. My dad is the most kind and caring person I know. I mean, all you did was harass us and still he wanted to pay for your food. My dad is beautiful from the inside out. And you? You're nothing but ugly. You could eat all the salads in the world and restrict your diet until you're starving. And you'd still be the ugliest person in the room. I'm proud to call him my dad. Every day, he makes me want to be a better person. Now, if you could please leave us alone so we could finish our food in peace. Thank God. Thanks. Barf. Everyone knows I'm just saying what we're all thinking about this guy, okay? Leave. Get out of here. Why don't you just disappear? Yeah, it should have been you who got taken. Oh, uh, hey, yeah, these two are harassing um, me. It no, she said leave. Okay, all right. I'm gonna show you, and you, delusional, suing you. Lot of young girls going missing around here lately, kid. That was amazing. I don't know if I know anyone who's that brave. Thanks. It's Katie, right? You know my name? Of course, you're in my biology class. Well, see you around? Sure. See, I told you you were cool. Sweetie, a daughter shouldn't have to stick up for her dad like that but I appreciate what you did. Thank you. Dad, stop it. You're my role model, the person I look up to most. Someday, I hope to be as half as kind and caring as you. Oh, sweetie, you already are.
Julie. Julie, you are not going to believe this. That disgusting man I was telling you about. So first he orders everything on the menu. Uh, Angelica? Is that you? Help me.